Hello and welcome. I am Zabraxi. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about the stat changes that come in the Burning Crusade from, well, users like this one. Now, while that username does look like a bot, I mean, it's classic, so it, there's gonna be loads of them. The comment itself is actually something I am interested in discussing. So let's take a moment and actually look over what changes, what's new, and what to look out for. Let's go. While everything in this video will be active come pre-patch, not everything I discuss today will actually be applicable until we enter Outland. Some of you might be asking yourself though, what the heck is this red bearded idiot even talking about? What stat change? What actually even happens? Well, I'm glad you asked because if you're like those people watching right now who already know what's happening, but you click the video to get more TBC content, then well, actually, yeah, I'm in the same boat as them. So uh, please don't pick on us too much. Come Burning Crusade Classic, we're going to have the shift for percentage values for stats to the new rating system. We're also going to have an entirely new set of stats such as resilience and expertise. Weapon skill also changes how it interacts with the game. Defense is now tied to a specific rating and much more changes. Let's start with the most visible change players will notice, secondaries and the switch to the new rating system. When it comes to gear and vanilla, secondary stats are handled in an extremely straightforward way. The Anixia Attunement, for example, rewards a trinket like the Eye of the Beast, which gives 2% spell critical strike. This is as straightforward as it gets, and 2% spell crit will always be 2% spell crit, no matter how long it's 2% spell crit. However, long term, this creates some serious problems. How do you make an item better than 2% spell crit? Well, the obvious solution would just be to make it with more crit. Then, in order to best that item, you'd have to add crit again. Keeping this raw percentage base provides this very limited scalability option, since the values have a hard cap of 100%, and at some point, the whole system eventually breaks down. Option two would be to add more secondaries, like also adding hit percent as well. While this does push off the problem a bit more, it's now just more of a bloat issue and a player power scaling issue that will now accelerate massively. We actually have already seen this in vanilla when certain items have multiple high percentages attached to them. Look no further than the Drake Fang Talisman and how desired it is and always will be for the entirety of vanilla's life. So Blizzard introduced the rating system. Instead of flat full percentages, we'll now have a stat rating which can provide partial percentages. Also, the proportion between the rating and the percentage value can scale based on your character level, allowing Blizzard to continue adding rating values in new expansions without ever hitting that 100% stat cap limitation that I mentioned earlier. For example, 14 spell crit rating is equal to 1% crit. So that Eye of the Beast trinket that I mentioned earlier, which is 2% spell crit, is actually now going to be 28 spell crit rating. However, from level 60 to level 70, that same 28 spell crit is only gonna get you about 1.27% crit. What this does is it gives Blizzard the ability to actually just change the rating on a dime and the scaling of it and bam, problem solved. Power can easily be squished or, or, or expanded at any given time. While this isn't the most elegant solution because it does have a couple quirks and some would argue it's slightly convoluted, it is pretty clever. So probably the most obvious question comes, does this change have any negative impact on the players? Well, not really. Items that are good now at 60 are still equally good at 60 and forever will be. Some items even stay strong well on its way to 70. Take Stylene's Impeding Scarab, which is competitive with pre-raid best tanking trinkets going into Karazhan. Its shift to the rating system doesn't really hurt or benefit it. It's a horizontal change, so don't sweat too much about how the system actually affects you. You'll still be comparing gear and stats the same way you always have. The only extra complication that comes in now is that you have to do one extra conversion to figure out certain stat thresholds. For example, if you need 16% spell hit, then normally you would just pay attention to the flat spell hit. Now you have to convert that spell hit rating into a percentage and then compare that to the amount you need. There are loads of websites and spreadsheets that do this all for you, so feel free to look some up and make your life easier. Or just pay attention to the new advanced character stats that come with TBC. Also a nice change. Another change that's coming can also be found on Stylene's Impeding Scarab again, actually. Notice how in Classic, this trinket provides plus 13 defense skill, but now in TBC, it gives 20 defense rating? Yeah, even defense is a rating now. But this change is almost entirely for the sake of uniformity. 
Again, don't sweat this too much, but for those of you who are interested in seeing how this scales differently, here you go. At level 60, 1.5 defense rating grants one defense skill, but at level 70, it takes 2.36 rating to get one defense. There's a really interesting little quirk that some of you might know, but it's the fact in the way that WoW only calculates defense skill as an integer, not a decimal number. For example, if you have 10 defense rating, which is 4.23 defense skill in the game, the game only actually sees four defense. Now, 11 rating at 4.65 skill doesn't actually benefit you at all, even though it's an increase, since it's still an integer of four. But 12 rating at 5.07 skill is finally the integer five and is now beneficial. About 99.9999% of you will never actually care or notice this, but it is a fun little interaction that I've always found curious and I just had to share. Weapon skill also changes a bit here in TBC. Weapon skill no longer reduces the percentage damage lost due to glancing blows. However, the player will now gain 0.1% chance to their critical strike rating per weapon skill against any monster above their level. Also in patch 2.3, which is what we will be seeing in the TBC Classic servers, all weapon skill increases on items have been changed to expertise. What is expertise, you ask? Hell if I know. I don't have expertise in anything. Expertise is a new stat introduced in TBC and is something that you tanks and melee are really going to want to pay attention to. Expertise reduces the chance that your melee attacks will be dodged or parried. Please note that this is not a replacement for hit rating in any way. Hit rating reduces the chance that your attacks miss, with the term miss indicating a specific status. Expertise prevents dodging and parrying from occurring. What did I just say? <laughs> Missing, dodging, and parrying are all different statuses. While preventing parrying is clearly obvious for tanks, expertise is also good for melee DPS. For example, if you get hit capped, you'll never miss the target, but the target can still dodge. So if you have max expertise and hit rating and you attack from behind so that way you can't get parried, then your attacks will never miss or be dodged you will hit every swing. In terms of tanking, preventing your attacks from being parried isn't just a threat increase, but also a defensive gain since the mobs will no longer receive that 40% attack speed haste after they parry on their next swing. This way, if you have enough expertise rating to reduce the chance a mob will parry and dodge by 5%, then by the way, you actually gain double the effect since it is a 5% reduction in parry and a 5% reduction to dodge. While this isn't exactly the case, on average, this does equate out to about 10% more swings landing on the target. Again, if you are a tank or DPS, you can look up the specific expertise caps that you want to go for when combined with a hit cap to ensure that all your attacks land. Expertise isn't alone though, since there's another stat introduced in TBC. Introducing Resilience, the stat intended for PVP that also has some very limited PVE application. What does Resilience do though? Well, a lot. It reduces the chance that you'll be critically hit by attacks, reduces the damage that you receive from critical hits, reduces all periodic damage you receive, like damage over time effects, and reduces the magnitude of mana draining effects on you. Yeah, it's a pretty broad reaching stat. Reducing all of that damage is quite obvious why it's incredibly valuable in PvP. However, while not nearly as applicable as PvP usage, you can utilize the crit chance and dot damage reduction in PvE. As I mentioned with expertise, this is one of those things that you're going to want to look up for your specific class and spec in order to find out what you'll really want for resilience, if any. One final change that I do want to address is that for the healers. All you healers out there, are you about sick and tired of getting a new healing upgrade in raid and yet it doesn't actually make you stronger out in the open world at all. Well, in TBC, that finally changes, and I know many of you are going to be really happy about that. Let's take a look at the Hammer of the Twisting Nether from Kel'Thuzad. This mace gives 238 bonus healing. However, come TBC, all bonus healing effects are tweaked to also include bonus damage as well. Let's take a look at that same mace in the Burning Crusade, and we can now see that it also has an additional bonus 80 spell damage on it. Keep in mind that the bonus spell damage on healing items in TBC will always be less than that of the normal spell damage piece, but at least it won't kind of lock those healers out of open world content so hard that they currently are in vanilla. I hope you enjoy being able to actually farm, even if it's a little bit slower than everybody else. You're at least now welcome to the party. I believe that's everything. I believe that's all the information about the stat changes that you'll need to know come TBC. If I did miss anything, then please let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, if you found it entertaining, even in the slightest, then please, I beg of you, 
Can you hit that big red subscribe button and the thumbs up? It really helps me a lot and I do appreciate it. Also, if you want to come follow me over on twitch.tv slash Zerbraxy, where I have a lot of fun talking about WoW and playing the game and showing off some really cool stuff and chat decides to make my life as difficult as possible by doing things like making me play with my keyboard upside down or not being able to press the W key for five minutes. It's something, all right. Also, if you want to follow me for any more unhinged gaming opinions and World of Warcraft hot takes, follow me on Twitter as well at twitter.com slash Zerbraxy. I think that's it. I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Oh, what is this? What, like, what is this? Like, what, what, what is this? <laughs> what? Just, oh my, just, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. What even is that? Why?